Hello everyone. So now we'll be going to learn about a new topic system landscapes. What exactly is SAP system landscape? Landscape is the arrangement for the servers. So if you see a typical landscape consists of development, quality and production. In any organization, if you see whether it is a ECC, whether it is a BI, business intelligence or whether it is a process integration or any SAP servers will have this typical three system landscape. What is development system? It is where the consultants do the customization as per the company's requirement. And quality system is where the core team members and other members test the customization. Whereas in production system, all the live data of the company is recorded. A request will flow from development to quality and from quality to production and not backwards. So if any changes made in the development will be tested in the quality and then it will be moved into the production. And once it has been moved to the production, you cannot revert back to the quality, which is very, very important point to remember. Now, so in any company, there will be five phases in the implementation. The first phase is the project planning and the second phase is the blueprint. Third is the realization. Fourth phase is the final preparation and the fifth phase is the go live. So in the blueprint, which is in the second phase, all the requirements will be gathered which are needed before customizing anything in development system. So when blueprint is signed off, then the configuration is done in the development system and all the data is saved in workbench request to be transferred to the production server. So there are two type of changes in development box. What are those two types of changes? One is the workbench change and second is customizing change. Workbench change is nothing but changes made to the default values provided by the SAP in the tables is called workbench change. And customizing change is a change which is totally new change in a system. Example, creating a new program or modifying a structure of a program. So once the customization is done, then the data will be imported from development system to the quality system for test for testing, where the test team will start testing those objects. Once that testing is done successfully, then the objects will be moved to the production systems. This is how the typical three system works. Now, when I'm talking about single system landscape, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Let us see. So in a single system landscape, if you're keeping development, testing and production all on the same server, then what will happen? I am like, if you see the disadvantages, changes to client independent or repository objects will affect the whole environment. The performance of the system affect all clients. You don't know where you, what you are customizing and when you are testing, if the, any issues arises, you don't know where whether it is a correct or not. Right? So production data is accessible from development and testing environment, which is very dangerous. Problems 
during the implementation of other applications when some production is going on or problems when modifying standard programs could impact. If the system crashes, the all three R by 3 systems will be affected. So, it is not recommended to use single system landscape. What about two system landscape? For this case, development and quality testing done on same system but production on different system. Even though there are some disadvantages if we keep development and quality on one system. I mean like if any changes made in the quality, we don't know whether it has been changed in the development or in the quality. As we've seen, the advantages of this two system landscape is nothing but after the completion of the preparation phase, the parameters and programs can be transported from the development system to the production system. And minimal amount of hardware is investment. I mean, like you're not investing one more hardware, right? So you're using only two hardware, one for development quality and another for production. What are the disadvantages? Recommended only for projects with a limited amount of ongoing development. No separate quality server for isolated testing. So most of the company won't use this kind of system landscape. Lastly but least is a three system landscape. In this case, development, quality, production take place on different system. The most recommended system in SAP. What are the advantages? The new development can start without affecting the production environment. Quality system allows for integration testing of developments before promoted to production. Production data is secure. Security will prevent access to sensitive data and client settings will prevent the unauthorized changing of data. And one more advantage that production performance is not affected by other clients. There is only one production client. Right? And lastly, Client independent customizing testing can occur without conflicts because it is on the separate system. But what are the disadvantages? That it increases the hardware cost and it requires increased system administration and change management activities. Before I conclude this session, I want you all to remember some points that in each box there will be a system identification which is represented by three characters as we have seen like the development is indicated by DEV whereas quality is indicated by QAS similarly production is indicated by PRD right so in any company like if you go, you will find the system identification where you are going to log on with those information. So system identification is nothing but three characters which are used to identify the systems. And another important point is that in production box, we have only one client. No changes are allowed in production box. Another important point is that in development box, we have three clients we can have three clients whereas in quality we can have two clients one for testing and another for training purpose for end users and also whatever the changes are done in development box should be done in the development box only you cannot do any development customization in any other system and only testing is done in the quality box and one more important point that changes done in development box 
should be moved to quality box and get tested and finally it is transformed to the production box so that end user have access to only production box and very few end users will have access to separate training box training box are nothing but it's used by end users for training purposes so in three system landscape one export and two imports okay so data moved out of development box is called as export and data pulled into quality and production box is called as a import the process is called a transportation so i hope you enjoyed this session thank you so much